Hello and welcome everyone to another demonstration video. So in today's demonstration video, we will look at a particular tool via which you can actually model your protein. So this is basically a protein modeling tool. We have seen the likes of your uh, alpha fold and your Swiss model uh, in the uh, past demonstration video in uh, like in Biotechnica. Okay. So if you want to dive deep into that, you need to join our session because there we'll be discussing more on the particular thing that why do we do protein modeling? What is the requirement of that? What is a homology modeling? What is your ab initio? What is your threading and this, that. Okay. But in today's demonstration, I'm going to show you a particular server. Okay. That is maintained by Massachusetts Institute of Technology from the US. Okay. So MIT and the particular uh, server is powered by nvidia so basically a supercomputer is there in the background which is doing the job for us because uh, like doing a protein modeling a uh, very large protein modeling okay in very less amount of time it is very uh, what do you say cumbersome process okay and uh, your regular system won't be able to do that okay so that is why we use cloud servers and this particular uh, supercomputer cloud server is available to each and everyone for free okay and if you are using a cloud server you can also surpass the barrier of your os whatever operating system you are using relentless of that that particular thing you can actually use this particular cloud server to do your job okay so yeah so let's get on to that so the uh, name of that particular server that we are going to use today is nvidia based server and you can directly type in the name of the tool as well so there are multiple tools in this particular server namely your alpha fold is there open fold is there then em fold is also there apart from that you have bolts to alpha fold yeah likewise so whatever tool you are going to use you can just directly type in nvidia and type in the name of the tool okay so that uh, that will do the job so in today's demonstration we'll look at open fold 2 okay so we'll directly type in nvidia okay nvidia followed by your open fold 2 okay so once we hit on the search then the second option that you're getting over here so this one open fold 2 model okay using this particular nvidia based server so here you can see this is the server that we are talking about uh, i will also show you how to navigate uh, through all of the different tools that we are talking about okay it is not that in this particular server you can only do protein modeling you can also do docking stuff and multiple stuff that you can do okay so if you go to explore and then biology here you can see in the biology section you have protein structure modeling so there are uh, this many tools you can use for your protein structure modeling then you have generative virtual screening protein designing okay and uh, likewise in the generative uh, virtual screening you have your docking tools as well okay so let's go on to our open fold 2 as of now so we'll uh, look at an example first uh, already uh, they have an example but let's take a extensive example so you can see that uh, this many examples are already being given over here so let's take the second one and we'll hit on done okay and once i hit on run so it will generate okay so in the background supercomputer that they have if i want to generate multiple models i can select on that okay and uh, most number of uh, model as you select okay so the better result it is gonna give you okay uh, obviously the computational power required would be more but we are not uh, concerned about that because uh, it is a supercomputer server anyways it is gonna do the job uh, very fast although it is uh, like open access so uh, multiple of the people across the globe is using this particular server so you might be experiencing uh, like uh, some kind of queue you might experience sometime okay depending upon what is the workload over there okay so here is the modeled protein okay so here you can see the example and this is a well modeled protein how do i know that you can see the pldt score so pldt score is basically a predicted value that if you procure this particular structure using wet lab experiment and if you superimpose that structure to this computationally modeled structure what are the odds of getting a, a exactly similar uh, like uh, what do you say your folds okay like your uh, alpha helices beta sheets and likewise here you can see this one so it is higher on the yellow side so that means uh, so you can see 100 percent 90 to 100 percent uh, of the chances are there that uh, if you superimpose this with a wet lab experimentally validated structure so it will resemble 90 uh, between 90 to 100 percent mostly 
on the uh, like uh, mostly on the part of your 100% likewise okay so although it is a predicted value you can convert it to like um, in between 0 to 1 also you can do or if you want to do it in percentage so this is the percentage value that has been given over here okay the color uh, connotation that you can see over here okay so based on that we do judge okay so we can also take an example for today's understanding so let's uh, open a site uh, for that matter so we will look at uh, i will just choose a random uh, like uh, protein and uh, would like to show you how to do the modeling okay so obviously using alpha fold and all the mother server you can only model the normal proteins or the wild type proteins here you can also do your uh, like also model your uh, mutant protein for that matter okay let's suppose i want to like search by i can search by the name of the protein that is possible let's suppose 3cl pro that is the main proteinase of your sars cov2 i can search by that or i have a id already by my side that i can also use for searching okay so that is the a session id uh, of your uh, like pdb session id basically okay so this one you can see the crystalline structure of sars cov2 uh, 3cl pro main proteinase okay so i will just go to display and go to faster sequence okay so here is the faster sequence i will just copy it although this is just the wild type you can just uh, copy it and paste it over here okay so paste it over here and obviously this will be modeled very easily because it is a wild type so we are not concerned about that instead what we will be doing we will do some mutation okay so i am uh, here i am doing an arbitrary mutation okay so otherwise you can go to uniprot or uh, like a clinvar to see what kind of variances do exist and based on that you will be doing the mutation okay and if you want to like know about all of the things okay step by step how do we do so okay you need to join the session for that okay because that is that will stretch the video uh, a very long okay so here it is okay so you also need the explanation why do we do the thing so theoretical stuff is also very important as you understand okay so i have done the mutation over here as you can see in in place of your r i have replaced it with f okay at the fourth place okay so now we will see that uh, we are able to generate a mutant model or not okay so we might not get a very good result over here also it is just for the demonstration that how the things works okay so uh, we might get a decent result okay so like uh, not uh, not more on the yellow side we can get uh, in between green or blue okay likewise we'll see that uh, what we get okay let's see uh, so it is already on queue you can see it is generating okay so because i have selected uh, like uh, here by default it is three model if you select one model obviously it will be more faster but the accuracy would be a bit compromised as compared to if you select uh, all five okay so here you can see here it is okay so here you can see less of yellow is there less of yellow and green is there it is in between the this particular 70 to uh, some odd like uh, 20 to 70 percent in between that okay and this particular reason mainly we focus on the backbone of the protein which should be good which is decent enough here it is not yellow although but it is green or blue okay uh, green or blue mainly you can uh, like uh, see it as 50 to 70 percent or likewise okay so the backbone which gives the strength to the protein and helps in the functionality and stability of the protein whereas the side chains are having uh, what do you say less predicted uh, uh, prediction score pldt values that is okay because the side chains uh, are not going to contribute too much to the stability of the protein and likewise okay so those things uh, likewise okay so you can try uh, uh, by your side okay and let us know in the comments that uh, what do you feel like okay you can also try with some different examples and then also you can do it okay apart from that if you use a code you have the shell scripts over here you have the bash script cell script then you have your uh, like python scripts also over here okay json if you want to go and go on to so that is the structural uh, file format if you want to download the structural file for file format or if you want to uh, do some uh, other kind of customization you can always get a api key for that okay so api uh, like uh, if you can uh, provide the api key based on that it will be modeling according to your will okay so that is there okay so that is about the demonstration for today okay so if you like the video uh, so hit the like button okay and share with your peer ones okay so that's been my time this is pradyut banerji from biotechnica see you in the next one bye bye take care